Hey y'all, Chatel Red, the grown ass teenager in the building. And I'm doing a reaction on a man pistol whips New York City postal worker before stealing money. Thanks. Jake from State Farm, I really need to know. 100K uh, to be exact. New surveillance video of a violent robbery at a post office in the Bronx. A suspect lying in wait exits a car, appearing to hold a weapon, and runs up to a postal worker who was opening the Castle Hill branch this morning and pistol whipped her. He then got away with more than $100,000 in cash and boxes and boxes of money orders. Kimberly Richardson is live outside the bank with details. The post office. Well, Sade, the victim. Well, Sade, the victim was the only one here this morning to open up this post office. It is small, maybe two or three employees at a time. There is no security. All things the suspects seem to know. Mm. Going to work, you need to feel secure. That, that's the bottom line. That is not what happened here at this post office on Castle Hill Avenue. We're there. You see an armed suspect get out of a minivan and a short time later, right there, leave carrying a bag. Inside, sources tell Eyewitness News roughly $112,000 in cash, 10 boxes of money orders, and a machine used to print those money orders. Wow. The brazen morning robbery unfolded just as the 56-year-old victim there, holding an umbrella, was heading to work to open up for the day. It was right around 7, her husband by her side to make sure she was okay. The couple partially opened up the metal gate. He assumed she's okay and doubles back across the street. Then, out of nowhere, the suspect makes his move. At gunpoint, forced the employee back into the post office. Her sister was horrified. I saw it on social media, and then I started calling her. And then I couldn't get through. The victim's husband saw his wife was in trouble, ran back to help, but the suspect turned the gun on him. The two struggled before the suspect took off. Hours later, the victim's husband was still inside, talking with investigators. His friends wonder why security is not in place. Some facilities are 24 hours. You don't have to worry about that. But in this particular case, this is a small finance station. And, you know, it's, 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 anything could happen. And we're told no one was seriously hurt at this hour. This joint investigation between the FBI, NYPD, and Postal Police, it is ongoing. Well, first of all, yeah, why don't they have security? They should definitely have security, especially if they have all that money. 100K in cash. I could see if they only had the money orders even though that's cash too, but still, that definitely was an inside job. I wanna hear the update on that when they find out who did it, because that was an inside job. Because how they knew all that money is in there? Who's expecting all that money to be in the post office? All that money, and they took the, the they knew where the money orders was, and the, and the machine to print the money orders. Definitely inside job. If they didn't work there, they know somebody who worked there. Period. And, um, yeah, it's not surprising. It's Bronx Afghanistan. Y'all should definitely have security in Bronx Afghanistan. But at least her husband does take her to work every morning. That's sweet. Make sure his wife gets in okay and all that. But, um, anything can happen in New York City. Especially Bronx, Afghanistan. But he did double back. He ain't do no sucker shit. He doubled back to try to help his wife. And but thankfully nobody got hurt. Yes. But yo, they came off, did they not? Do those money orders have um serial numbers on them? I think they do though. So if they sell them shits, they gonna eventually get caught. And they gonna tell on whoever put them on facts. Well, stay tuned. If I find an update, I'm gonna put y'all on. If y'all find an update, y'all put me on. And that's all I gotta say about that. Lady y'all.